so the idea of this library of this Lua module is to take a VTF, inject code at the hand. Uh, the code is in Lua, it cannot be read uh, by opening the file. And obviously, the idea is to make something that will not be detected by any user. Uh, I will pick something like uh, maybe. Okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, it's PNG, so um, maybe not. Uh, I will pick something in um, po -po 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 -po, garage mod. Uh, yep, this one. No, I didn't pay for construct source, but I don't care. Okay, let's take this one. The first one is a texture. Uh, let me check how it looks first. Okay. Uh, bo -bo 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 this one. Okay, no, I, I did a mistake. Uh, this, the first is the identifier, like the name we're going to leave, uh, to the name we're going to give to the VTF, and we need to make something that will not uh, um, be in any way suspicious. Let's call it um, skybox underscore um, uh, item underscore 10. TMP. Then we take the VTF we want to read. If you don't put anything here, uh, it will by default put any. Uh, it, it will select an empty VTF. So the fire is going to be really light. Uh, if I'm not wrong, the empty VTF, uh, the uh, walking one, is uh, 67 bytes. So it's pretty much nothing. But we want to make something not so suspicious at all. Okay, so it's going to write a new VTF in data. And the code is in, in a is a string, obviously. Uh, let's put some random stuff like um, uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I have no idea and. Uh, On, I guess it should be working. There is no reason it doesn't work. Okay, uh, we need to copy this. We need to keep, um, like, th there is some important information in it. So obviously, uh, if, if you make a backdoor or anything else, this is not exactly what you're going to do. Uh, this is not the code you're going to release. You just need uh, this key and this offset. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Let's go in data now, which is uh, right here. And as you can see, there is the new item, the new VTF. I mean, uh, it does have exactly the like. If you open it, it it, it it's look exactly the same. But there is something else at the hand. I will show you exactly what, if I can go back uh, here. No, okay, it's here. Open with notepad. I will go to the end. Two fifty six and two sixty one, as you can see. Two four zero two lines empty. See, and there is some added payload in the file. Uh, you cannot read it for obvious reasons. Uh, the idea is, you know, if someone that doesn't know shit, that doesn't know shit about computer, you open it and it's like, oh shit, I cannot read it. Th that's the idea behind it. Uh, now let's say uh, you have your file. So we don't need any of this anymore. Let's say uh, this is the file you're going to release. 
and this function if there is any um, compiled string or uh, uh, I mean um, yeah, it's compiled string I think a run string directory it's going to find it obviously there is no any um, security against that so we copy this right here it it can be anywhere else it doesn't matter um, after the video is being released uh, I will make uh, a key system a bit a bit better the offset oh no I, I made it yeah okay it's not supposed to be the key but the offset unless I'm wrong but I don't think I am It's supposed to be the key, I guess. The key is here, and if I run it, it should print what we saw before. Yep, I had a mistake. And the, co the code is being run, as you can see. On the other hand, there was a player. Uh, let me show you the back, the code, kill on it print in print and the this time. Ah, I think I made a mistake because I, yeah, I didn't execute the function. Anyway, that the ID so the code was being hidden uh, hidden in the in the VTF and you can run it uh, because you know people think they can add Lua code in modules, they can add Lua code in maps, but you can hide Lua code anywhere. This is like a proof of concept.